Yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. DA, take it away. Hey there, Kevin. Jeru Holiday has taken the Bucks to another level. He says Bud, Giannis, Chris, they love guys that go downhill and get to the basket, and that works out with my abilities. So it's a great fit. He just being aggressive helps out the team. And Kevin, they love the ball in his hands. He makes good things happen. Always has. He's been a terrific fit. David, thank you. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Holiday out there with lights out, and it's Matthews in at the three spot. And Greg, something to keep an eye on in this one, the big man. Both these teams have talented front courts. You're exactly right. Both rely on their bigs, and, and the winner of the game is probably going to be the team that wins that front court matchup. good on the three so it's the Bucks now this one for three that one's no good 0 of 1 to begin the game fires the three off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt and the first of many to come explosive offensive talent on both sides Boy, I tell you what that's going to be like a pinball machine the way that scoreboard's going to light up now here is Holiday and that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Matthews scanning the floor. Got a piece of it. Lopez covering. Puts it up. Tips it up. Up again, Giannis grabs the miss. And the Bucks with possession. It's a three-point game. There's the pass to lights out. Back to Anadokounmpo. Unloads from 13. That's good on the jump shot. You know, knocking down mid-range jumpers is huge for Anadokounmpo. It doesn't allow the defense to form a wall and play off of it. And it opens up driving lanes as well. All sorts of time. That one goes. Count it. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. He kicks to Matthews. There's the lob. And the combo. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. He's been a huge factor in this game, and drives like that show how valuable he is on the floor. No coverage that time. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's lights out. Home team on D. They lead by four. Stolen. Clever, crafty defense. He saw that pass coming before it was even made. That one goes in. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. Craig, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now, and that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again, just need to push all the right buttons. And he makes the first, but misses the second. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think probably has added motivation for him to excel. Not 
Count three off the mark. Bucks trail by five. Here's lights out. Baseline J on the way. Another shot. The shot by Holiday, no good. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. For Milwaukee, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. And to the Kumbo inside. Back to Holiday. Lock at 6. Matthews passes to lights out. Connects from three-point range. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. Under the Kumbo defending, and the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Now here's Giannis. Lopez, Lopez. Passes it to Lopez. And here's Matthews. No good on the fadeaway. I think in that situation, that was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. It's tipped. Lopez with the steal. And here comes Holiday leading the fast break. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there and got the defense to overcommit. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Milwaukee making a switch here. Wara checked in. That one is no good. Gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Guarded by Holiday. Just five to shoot. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And he knocks down the first one. Carter, he's checked in for the Bucks, And good on the second, so he makes them both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. 58 seconds left here in the first quarter. There's the lob into the Kumbo. Defended by Carter. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. No, oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there. Since when does he take guys off the dribble? Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Pass to Lopez. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The big fella, Lopez, able to weather the hit and make it happen. And he's got his first chance at the line here. That's good from Brooke Lopez. We've got 22 seconds left in the first. Defended by Carter. And no good, but close on that one, so he'll shoot two. And really, the defense fouling there to, to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. So it's the Bucks now. Intercepted. And so the first quarter is in the books. 
They're up by five. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. You know, Greg, we know to win at the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big games. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Lights out out there with Carter, and it's Matthews in at the three. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Defended by Carter. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by the Bucks. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. On to the Kumbo, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Defended by Carter. Six on the shot clock. Releases from the wing and drills it. He's got seven. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Outside Matthews. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Shot from 12. It will not find the hoop. It's his third miss. He has made two. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Carter. Bucks trail by 10. Hey, yo, Kumbo finds Matthews. Now here is Holiday. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. You know, Drew Holiday has so many great attributes, but I think maybe perhaps the best one is his mindset. He's even killed, he competes at a high level, and he never backs away from a challenge. And so Antetokounmpo will bring it up for the Bucks. Here's lights out, and a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. And that's now eight points for lights out. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Six to shoot. Shoots from the elbow. He can't hit that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. To the inside. That one goes in for him too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. Getting better and better as a playmaker. Giannis is the ultimate team first superstar. He does put up big assist numbers, and that's an evolving part of his game. The nine-foot shot. Holiday with the block. And he recovers it. Shot clock at six. He's covered by Matthews. Drills it from outside. He's got 12. Really good job of creating just enough space to let that one fly. Bounce pass, Holiday. Poked away. Fires it up. Rebound, Giannis under the Kumbo. Under the Kumbo's got four rebounds in this game. Tries it from 19. A second chance effort. And it's good on the way in. Giannis has got his third basket of the night right there. Persistence pays for Giannis there, using his athleticism and those long arms to collect second-chance opportunities for his team. 
153 left to play in the first half. And the rebound goes to Lopez. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Inside takes the 13-footer. Nope, not that time. Nothing for two from the field. The Bucks trail. Back to Lopez. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The up fake from Lopez working to perfection. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucks. Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. And the Bucks making a change here. Wara checked in. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. We've got 108 left now here in the second. Three-pointer. Giannis grabs the miss. Andre de has got six rebounds here tonight. All alone. And he makes that one. Juarez got his first basket of the night. And you can just see and feel Andre de elevating his playmaking skills. Really looking to get his teammates involved. No good again that time. The Bucs have gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. And he comes up with the deuce. And now a four-point Bucks lead. You know, he's often the setup guy. But Holiday gives you just as much, maybe even more, as a terrific finisher. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike. And it's the Bucks ball. They're on a 17-5 run here. Here's lights out. Ten points for him. On the wing, Holiday. 14 feet away, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. A two-point game. Now here is Holiday. Defense right on him. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Holiday, Holiday, Holiday. The pass to lights out. Six to shoot. Picked away. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Holiday out there with lights out, and it's Matthews in at the three, the small forward. Holiday dishes to Antetokounmpo. Takes a three. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. For teams that try to pack the lane against Giannis, that shot is a great equalizer if he can hit it with consistency and be good at when to shoot it and when not to. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play going to the line for one. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. And the free throw, no good. Milwaukee has gone three or four from long range in the game. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. 
and still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. Here's the three. He doesn't hit that one. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Lights out, passes to Giannis. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. There are nights that Antetokounmpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. To the middle. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Lopez right side. Get there, get there. Passes to lights out. Four on the clock. Who's watching here? Not enough on that one as it misses. Gone two of four here to start the second half. Fires the three. Knocks down the three ball. He has six. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Pass to Matthews. Holiday looking for an opening. Here's lights out. And another three for Milwaukee. You know, he attracts a lot of attention. And Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. That's tipped. Now the Bucks moving it up. Holiday with the ball. Tries from seven. Well, that's just a smart pump fake that time by Holiday. The trip to the line was exactly what he wanted to get. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And taking a look back at last year's numbers, he's about a 76% shooter. And the Bucks making a change here. Ibaka's checked in. He's covered by Matthews. From deep. A rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got four rebounds now tonight. Bucks passing it around. Here's lights out. He's got 13. Lock at six. Knocked loose. Here's Ibaka. And Ibaka slams it in. Yeah, leaving nothing to chance there. Ibaka goes up strong and finishes with a little attitude. Without question, lights out displaying his skills today. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. And the Bucks making a change here. Wara checked in. To the wing right side. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot and get stops. To the left side wing. A minute 42 left to play in the third. Good on the triple. Lopez has got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. And how about Brook Lopez? In his 30s, he added the three-point shot, which extends his career. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Five points in the game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. 
One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Knocks it loose. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. Yeah, it's the lights out. Back to Holiday. Now the pass to lights out. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And the first one drops. Good on both. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. You get him. From downtown, the rebound by Holiday. Bucks leading by seven. We've got 28 seconds left in the third. And that one drops. Holiday's got 11. Boy, Holiday's a strong guard. Does not mind mixing it up at all. He can play physical if he needs to. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Here's lights out. He's got 15. Three seconds left, and that's the final possession with the nice defense right there. And so it's Milwaukee. We'll return shortly. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this was? Yeah, and as a two-guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter, so it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Over to the left wing. He lobs it up. Boom! He chains it straight down. Oh, I love that dish down low. And it's Hunter Takumba with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And for Milwaukee... Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Lights out out there with Holiday, and it's Matthews in at the small forward. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead, and as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Bucks leading by seven, and for Milwaukee. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Holiday out there with lights out, and it's Matthews in at the small forward position. Being at 44%, pretty reasonable. Fourth quarter of basketball, we're about a minute into it. To the paint. Ball's knocked loose. Lopez with the steal. Down low. Here's out to Takumbo. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. You know, no opponent is willing to give Ansu de Kumpo an easy look. I mean, they want to make it hard on him, and he's going to get bodied up, and he's learned to accept that. Free throw good. Giannis. Both free throws good from Ansu de Kumpo. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Without question, lights out displaying his skills today. Boy, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now, or we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Six on the shot clock. Knocked away. Passes it to Holiday. 
Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's lights out. Trying to get open is Lopez. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly. Just finding the open man. And, you know, the more they penetrated, the more they realized the defense wasn't able to stop them. So they just kept doing it. To the middle. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Bucks leading by 14. Here's lights out. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Matthews with the steal. And it's blocked. It's off his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Pass to lights out. No one near him. That's good on the jump shot. Lights out, got 24. Boy, Lopez hunkered down and anchored in on that pick. Kick it out! Kick it out! Guarded by Holiday. Shoots. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by Milwaukee. Pass to Matthews. Here's lights out. Giannis outside. Lays it up off the glass. Onto the Kumbos. Got four points this quarter. Uh, you know, there's really nothing you can do defensively. Giannis Antetokounmpo is just a long, wily, strong, attacking, skilled player. To the left wing. Five on the clock. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Timeout. And the Bucks Timeout. making a change here. Wara checked in. And now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Drew Holiday. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off it. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Really left alone that time. And the Bucks lead by 17. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Lopez covering. A fadeaway. Misses off the left iron. On offense, here are the Bucks. They're on a 16-4 run. Floats it up for Giannis. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Hey, this was exactly the kind of game coach wanted to see from them. High effort, great play at both ends, gets the win for Milwaukee. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but, you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the story. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Lights Out. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Defended by Carter. Carter pulls it in. The Bucs have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Inside. 
Nuora. That's in there. Carter with the assist. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. From deep, and the rejection by Adekumbo. Well, you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and strength, and he's athletic, and Giannis plays the game hard all the time, too, which is impressive. Carter outside. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this 